Hey friends, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. Today we're making this really cute birthday card. It has little gift bags on the front and on the inside. I did make this piece a gift card holder. All right, so to get started, you will need a piece of cardstock for the base of the card. This is eight and a half by five and a half. You want to score that at four and a quarter. Accent color, I chose brown. This piece is four by five and a quarter. You'll also need two pieces that are one and a half by one and a half. A piece for the inside. This is one and a half by four. And then for our greeting, this is one and a quarter by two. Then you'll need some white. I have a piece that is four by five and a quarter for the inside. For the front of the card, this piece is three and three quarter by five. Not sure if you can see it, but I did emboss it using this dotted embossing folder. A piece for the inside. This is one and a quarter by three and three quarter. And then for our greeting here, this is one by one and three quarter. Then you'll need two pieces of pattern paper, and you'll also need a piece of pink that is four and three quarter by one and three quarter. All right, so what we're gonna do first is take our brown, and I hear that to the front. Oh, and my ATG is out. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on here for the front. All right, I'll just grab my art glitter glue for our white piece. Okay, we're going to put that one on there. And then we have our pink piece. That's going to go right over here on the left-hand side. Just like that. Okay. All right, now for our little bag pieces, we take our papers. And these are one and three eighth by one and three eighth. I didn't want a really large border around them. Okay, so we have that one this side. That one's going to go on this one. All right, so we have that. We're going to flip them over, and I actually need a dry glue. And my ATG is out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take some double-sided tape. Your ATG, if you have a tape runner, will be fine here. I'm just using this because my tape runner is empty. To have hubby replace it. All right, so I'm going to put two pieces here. That's going to hold our string as well as our tissue paper. All right, so I just have some thin twine. I'm going to cut two pieces longer than I need. I'm going to take my thumb board and just kind of rub that. I do find by rubbing it, it does help release the backing a little bit easier. All right, so there's that one and that one. All right, so I'm going to take my twine for the handles. You can make them be as long or as short as you like. And then when you have that on there, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the extra. All right, that one is done. Do the same for this one. And all the cardstock I'm using is paper tray ink. This uh, pink piece is called Lavender Moon, and the brown that I'm using is Cocoa Bean, and the pattern paper is just stuff I had. All right, to put that one on there, and then I go ahead and cut off the extra. Right. Okay, so we have that done. Now you wanna take some tissue paper, Just going to kind of accordion fold it and then pinch it and put it on the back like that. And you can be neater if you want to. Okay. And put that behind that one. Okay. Now I want to take some foam squares. I'm 
two and two, and two up here on top of the string to help hold that down, and then another one on this side of the string and on that side of the string. Okay, do all of the squish, take the backing off. It really is an easy card. You can very much um, change this out for the holidays. You want to do like a Christmas gift bag. Now the original pin that I see in this room, I will have that linked in my um, blog post, which would be linked below, um, did not give me the measurements of anything, so I kind of had to guess what these sizes were, but I think it's fine. I, she had three bags going up. I only have the two. All right, so we have that. Let's go ahead and stamp our greeting. And for that, I'm using two stamp sets. I'm using this one from the Stamps of Light. This is called Typewriter. I'm using that for the happy birthday. I already have that over here my back. And I'm using Soft Suede Ink. All right, let's go ahead and ink up that. I'm going to bring this toward me. I know you can't see it, just so I can get in there to get it somewhat straight. All right, and then for the inside, I'm going to stamp that piece as well. And that one I'm using Mamie Made It's Birthday Wishes. I would have used this one for the whole thing, but the greeting for the front was too big. All right, so I'm going to ink that one up and bring in my piece of white. And again, I'm going to bring it toward me so I can kind of get it in the center. Okay. All right, we're done with the ink. Let's go ahead and set all that aside. All right, so for the greeting, I did not pop this up only because the other pieces were popped up. And I did have this one have our normal, our normal board, our, nor, our normal size border. And I just have that right in the middle. Make sure it goes on there straight. Like that. I really do like that little typewriter font. Super cute. All right, now, for the have, now we have the inside. Let's get our piece of white and our piece of brown. Now you want to, I did cut this bigger than what I need. I'm going to cut a little bit off. It's too big. All right, so you want to just glue the three sides. And you want to use a liquid glue here because the liquid glue, the liquid glue dries the, um, my ATG does not dry. That glue stays tacky and it will catch the gift card. All right, so three sides and put it down here on the bottom and then we're just going to flip it over and cut off the extra, which is over here. And just a smidgen on this side. Okay. All right, now we're going to take this piece and glue that one to the top of that. Our card is done. And again, you don't have to do the gift card if you didn't want to, but I just thought it was kind of a nice. All right. Let's glue this to the inside, and our card is done. Okay. And then your gift card just sits inside there, just like that. Isn't that a cute little card? Very easy to do. A great card for your scraps. All right, so here's the card, and I do have a card kit. I do include the twine as well as the tissue paper, and I will include one of these finished cards along with the envelope. Uh, so to uh, be entered in the card kit, just leave me a comment below saying you want to be entered in the card kit, and I will pick a winner this coming Sunday. So if you entered any of my card kits, winners, or any of my card kits for this week, make sure you watch this Sunday's video to see if you won. All right, my friends, there you have it, our Pinterest Inspired Project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.